I'm very excited. I think we're friends. Is that fair? All right. Logan uh, really grew up going to Harmony. He was, uh, had the, I had the blessing of having him and his family in our community group for a number of years. And uh, I want to share, I loved getting to read Logan's baptism form. And uh, just really simple, he wants to get baptized today because he loves Jesus. And he wants to show you all that he loves Jesus. It's neat, he grew up in a, in a Christian home, and Brent and Michelle have been sharing the Word of God with them. He grew up going to Harmony Kids, and uh, it's just been awesome. And we've been a, had a privilege to, to get to know him. But one of my favorite things is, you know, why does he believe in Jesus? Um, and he just shared, uh, there's just so many good things about him. So many amazing stories about who he is. And so today, I get the privilege of baptizing Logan here. Logan, have you placed your faith and are you trusting your life in Jesus Christ's hands? Yes. All right. Well, it is my privilege and your dad to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with him and raised to new life. <laughs> Woo! This here is Emma DeLuca. I'm my daughter, that's right. Um, so I'm a proud papa this morning. Em and I share a birthday even. So a few years ago, my wife gave me the best birthday present. So, um, But what I'm more excited about is Emma's new birth as she's placed her faith in Jesus Christ. Whew. So Emma... Um, I has grown up in a Christian home, hopefully, obviously, but, um, but she was actually on a little getaway weekend with her mom, and um, they were talking about a lot of stuff and about Jesus and about baptism, and Emma wanted to get baptized and um, kind of talked about, well, you need to place your faith in Jesus, and Emma was like, yeah, I did that a while ago. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so I've been laughing because this is like an example of uh, parenting fail. So Emma's asked to get baptized multiple times, and so we're finally up here. We finally came through, got the form filled out, but um, Emma loves the Lord. It's been fun to see her in our home and grow, and just the sweet, soft heart that she has, and so it's our privilege, your mom and I, to get to baptize you this morning. So Emma, have you placed your whole life, your salvation, in the hands of your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? All right, well, your mom and I get to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried with him in his death, raised to new life in Christ. Well, this is Miette, and Miette and I are joined by her mom, Molly, and her stepdad, Luke, and it's been a, a privilege to get to know Miette over the last couple of days, even, as we've talked about baptism and as we've talked about salvation. And one of the things that um, has struck me about Miette's story is Miette has heard the gospel time and time again, but she's heard the gospel through Harmony Kids, and she's come to faith, and she recognizes that baptism is a step of obedience to Jesus, and that's encouraging to me, and I know it's encouraging to us as a body. So, Miette, I have one question for you. Are you trusting in Jesus and Jesus alone for your salvation? Yes. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And this is Carolyn Ream, and Carolyn is joined by her husband, Roger, who's behind me. And Carolyn's story is, it's a great story. Carolyn came to faith um, at a young age. She actually grew up in a, in a different church, and through that church, um, she had thought she was a, a believer, and so she started dating her, Rog her husband, Roger, and they eventually got married, and it was through the testimony of Roger's family that Carolyn began to realize that she wasn't really a follower of Jesus. And she learned through Roger and his family and through the gospel what the biblical gospel is and what the biblical gospel looks like. And so shortly after they were married, Carolyn repented and put her faith in Jesus. And it's been a while since that has happened, but Carolyn, over the recent weeks, has come to the understanding that baptism is important as a disciple of Jesus. And so we're here this morning to baptize Carolyn and to celebrate 
her life in Christ with her and her, her obedience to him. So, Carolyn, I've got one question for you. Are you trusting in Jesus and Jesus alone for your salvation? Then this morning we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.